We are 3D printing first responder masks, respirator masks for a shortage for uh, first responders during this COVID-19 outbreak. I'm a manager of one of the labs and we've been doing 3D printing for, for almost 20 years. We as an engineering college and all of us labs in the engineering college are kind of all coming together and saying, hey, we have time, we have these resources, we can put all of our energy into, into making these things as fast as we can. We've got five going right now, and that's um, five masks printing currently. And we're just trying to dial in the process so that we can speed up the production. Otherwise, we should be able to print two masks at a time per printer, except for our black belt printer that can print continuously. So once we get that dialed in, we can just keep it running 24 seven and hopefully produce really quickly. So this is made out of PLA plastic, and it's meant to be dipped in hot water and kept there for a while and then formed to the first responder's face, like this. You would take a small chunk of N95 rated filter mask and you would place it here and it would go in there like that. And then the first responder can reuse this piece and, that, and therefore we will go through less N95 material by only needing a square this size. And because it fits to their face, it works really well for reuse. I'm a, a volunteer EMT for the fire department in Mapleton. It's unique now because we're having to um, use a lot more precautions uh, because everybody's worried about getting the, the virus. And uh, so we have to don um, PPE gear um, a lot more than we used to in the past. It's kind of cool to see this two things coming together in my day-to-day -day job and my, and my night hobby as an EMT. I'm actually really grateful to have some sort of service project to do. This has been a great opportunity. The email I got on Saturday, I came in and we started working on it and it's been, it's been really cool to be able to contribute to the community that way.